Hi, this is Jay from Espresso Display. Today, I want to talk to you about Espresso Flow, an application for Windows and Mac that we've developed to improve your workflow and experience when working with multiple displays. One of the biggest frustrations I face when working with multiple screens is real estate. Sometimes it's like playing Tetris. You gotta drag your application windows around, resize them so they don't obstruct one another. It can be a bit overwhelming, and it's definitely an aspect that hinders productivity. If you can relate, you'll definitely appreciate Espresso Flow. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of what this application does, how it simplifies and maximizes multiple screen management, and how you can integrate it into your existing workflow. Before we get started, I just want to emphasize a few things. First of all, Espresso Flow is free to download. So, if you would like to follow along with this video, make sure to go ahead, download and install it. Espresso Flow will be most beneficial for users who use the Espresso display with compatible Apple laptops. But those who use Windows devices with other branded monitors can still utilize most of the features of Espresso Flow. So everyone is winning. All right, let's get started. So let's begin by connecting a display to our device. For demonstration, I'll be using this 15 inch touchscreen Espresso display. Once connected, let's open up Espresso Flow. Welcome to the Flow home screen. Here in the center of the window, you can see an icon of a laptop and also an icon of a monitor. These are representations of your physical setup. Let's go over the first feature, display arrangement. Notice the position of the laptop icon to the monitor icon. This is a direct correlation to how your monitors will be positioned in relation to each other. Let me show you. If I drag the monitor window above the laptop, now if I drag this window up, you will see the window start to transition from the laptop to the monitor. Now, if I drag the monitor to the left of the laptop and I drag the flow window to the right, it will transition into the laptop screen. Windows users have this feature for a while now. Basically, you drag a window on the display to any edge or corner of the screen, and it will snap and resize the window to that respective position. Very cool. However, Apple users don't have this, or they do, but it's really basic and not intuitive to use. With Espresso Flow installed, we now have the ability to quickly snap, resize, and position our windows with ease. Take a look. Here I have two windows on the screen, overlaid on top of each other. I want both to be visible. Here's what I can do. I can click and drag the window to any of the edges of the screen. And as it touches a certain point on the edge, a highlighted preview of how your window will look will be displayed. So now if I let go, voila. Now if you're a bit more savvy or you want to utilize this feature to the max, you can use hotkeys. All the hotkey commands for every snap position can be found in the Espresso Flow app under the Manage Workspaces section in the Snap tab. You can also customize the hotkeys to your liking. With hotkeys, snapping becomes extremely quick and intuitive. I love using the snap feature when I'm working between two apps and quickly want to push one app off to the other monitor quickly. So we've covered display arrangement and snap features. Now I'm going to show you what makes Espresso Flow, in my opinion, one of the most useful applications. Imagine being able to press one button to open all the apps you use all at once. Workspaces. Let me explain. First, we'll make sure that all the monitors are hooked up to our main device. I've added another Espresso display to my setup to better demonstrate workspaces. Next, in the Espresso Flow app, under Manage Workspaces, I'm going to go ahead and create a new workspace. We'll give our workspace a name. I'll call it Video Editing. You can also assign a tag to it if you wish. Here you can see all the devices you have linked together and the arrangement in relation to one another. You can also see how the screen layout is assigned. Divide the screen in half both vertically or horizontally or make it full screen. To change the layout, select the screen of choice. A pop-out will appear where you can toggle between the different layouts. At the bottom are some apps. 
you can click and drag these apps to the screen you wish to load and display them on. If the app you want to assign isn't at the bottom, you can find and add more apps by clicking the plus icon. You can also add a specific web page that you visit frequently. Next to apps, click the web pages tab, add a new web page, give it a name, put in a URL, and if you have other web pages you want to open as separate tabs, simply click add another page in a tab and continue adding URLs. It takes some time to customize the workspace the way you like, but once you have it set up, things become so much easier. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished curating my workspace. Now for the fun part. Right now I have no apps open. Let's open up Espresso Flow and go to Workspace Management. I'll click on the newly created video editing workspace. And now watch the magic unfold. Workspaces cuts out the repetition and allows you to get stuck into the work that matters. It's no secret that Espresso Flow works best when paired with an Espresso display. A cool feature is the Auto Rotate. Simply turn the Espresso display to a vertical orientation and it will switch to portrait mode. Another cool feature Espresso Flow enables is touch functionality when you pair an Apple device with the Espresso display. And if you use the Espresso Pen, you can turn your Espresso display into an interactive drawing tool. How neat is that? It's one thing for me to tell you how beneficial Espresso Flow will be for your workflow, but the best way to find out is to test it out for yourself. Remember, it's completely free, no strings attached, so what are you waiting for? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, check out this playlist. You might also be interested in this video right here.